Hey everybody, uh, this video here I have a uh, motorcycle ignition that says on the package it's like a you know scooter or whatever and uh, it is a wafer lock. Uh, this one is uh, only it's single sided, there's not wafers on both sides. Uh, there's our key looks like, it's uh, five wafers and I'm going to see if I can pick it and then maybe gut it. There might be people out there that haven't seen what wafers look like on uh, like, like automobiles or whatever, or wafer locks anyway. And um, I'm going to use my uh, Peterson uh, pry bar here. Okay, and this actually has a spring catch, so you have to get past that before you can even tension the pins. And I'm using a uh, right hand hook that uh, months ago I knew I was going to get this lock, so I uh, broke it in this perfect shape to uh, for this kind of lock, right? <laughs> the camera's situated a little bit better here. Okay, so it does have like a, a spring at the get by, and uh, let's see if we can get, get it open here. And it's just five wafers on the bottom. rocked it open so now, now I guess I'd add in post-production the uh, sounds of the ignition starting I guess uh, anyway so that's uh that's picked so it's you know turned on you can steal it or whatever and it's all the way over and it's back off so let's see if we can get it out of the vise here and uh, get that out of the way Let's see if I can get it apart. Okay, now the way this thing comes apart is there's actually a uh, sixth wafer in the back that actually keeps the actual ignition in. So I'm going to see if I catch that and get it out. Probably some kind of special tool or something for this, probably. Try to get something in there to hook it. When I get it out, I'm probably going to just spill everything everywhere, but that's okay. There we go. Alright, got it out. Okay, without dropping anything. Alright, so this is our wafer lock here. And this one all the way at the back is what actually keeps it locked in. And then, of course, when you have the key, what the key is actually doing is actually pulling all these wafers down to the shear line is what it's actually doing. You know the key's all the way in, see it's uh, flush on the bottom, flush on the top. You know, we can actually uh, take these out. So the way these work, okay, 
I dropped a spring there. So these are the uh, wafers here. And I'll just leave it, that, that one's the same, and the one on the back, we'll just leave it in there. It's the one that holds the uh, lock in when it's actually in. And the way these work here is uh, like a pin tumbler that has different pins to match the different depths of the key. Uh, these actually have different thicknesses on the bottom. So on a shallower cut, the thickness would be, would be thicker, like this is the shallowest cut right here, so you see it's wider than say this cut here which is real thin so that's thinner we can see that real good here like you see on the bottom uh, this is uh, fatter than this one is which means this this one goes over a higher cut on the key this one would go on a deeper cut on the key so yeah, that's how wafer locks work um, cars modern cars that they you know they have the same same thing but they're normally thicker they're not normally this flimsy these are like something finally like gonna cabinet lock or something almost that are you know bend real easy you got to be careful probably picking these you can bend them and screw them up and just get them stuck but um anyway that's a uh it's like a scooter ignition uh picked and gutted and uh, that'll do it for this video we'll talk to everybody later